La Barca Hurdle is next. This is over two miles and five furlongs this time. And it's a grade two. Got El Centro rated for Vinnie Gerard, X Adventure, Darren Thompson, Judge Anderson, Joshua Sutherland, Smokescreen, David Robertson, On the Dark Side, Craig Beckwith, Best is Yet to Come, Joshua Sutherland, Baby Jane, David Robertson, Beach Breeze, David Hooley, Corfada Romero, Derek Hinton, Emma Oatway, James Shea, Extreme Maneuvers and Gold Coast for Leon Van Rensburg, Shambolic, Paul Parsons and Sierra Vista Slutty, Vinnie Gerard, 14 then in this, two more five furlongs. And away they go. Let's see how many flights they've got to take this time. It's a short run to the first of them. Which they're all safely over. Just two furlongs further than the previous race. So only one extra flight. 17 to take this time then. They've already taken the first one. And Gold Coast in the lead for Leon van Rensburg. We're a decent day for him so far. Smoke Green is in second. George Anderson is third. Title is pretty much in the hands of Joshua Sutherland for another season. Hold on to him. Gold Coast in the lead. Beach Breeze in second. Some sort of miracle would have to take place for him not to be the champion at the end of this season. He's probably going to win on both codes as well, sir. Double well done. And Gold Coast is in front. On the dark side of El Centro rated. And Baby Jane and Smokescreen as they get over the fourth. Corfada Romero is just the back market. As they come to the fifth and sixth, the two that are close together, and over it they go. All still on their feet. These hurdle races may have a lot of hurdles in them, but I'm guessing they probably don't take much jump because we haven't, I don't think we've seen any falls on the hurdles today. When they're taking twice as many hurdles as they normally do, then you'd expect there'd probably be a few more. Not being the case, I think that is pretty clear on this track is that they do get strung out pretty quickly. And Gold Coast is stretching them out at the moment as they get over number seven. It'll be interesting later on if we've got one of those John Morgan front runners in any of those long distance chases. They could be strung out like goodness knows what as they get to the eighth. And they're all safely over that one. It wouldn't need to be that much of a long distance chase, would it? Probably anything over two and a half miles and there'll be a furlong between first and last. But anyway, at the moment, Gold Coast is clear by three. Passing the winning post with a full circuit ahead of him. Or her, should I say. Then Judge Anderson in second. David Rawson pair of third and fourth. Smokescreen and Baby Jane. Get over that. Maybe Jane and Betty Davis film. Was it? I can't remember. I think it might have been. Smoked it was Dick Francis' book. So, David Robertson gives plenty of clues to his musical tastes with his name, so maybe he's given us a few hints. Who really likes watching and reading with these two? It could be way off the mark, of course, as they get over the tenth. I can't believe there's anybody watching this who's not read one of those Dick Francis books with those old ones, the ones from the 60s and 70s they really are classics, they're great, great they're like your yeah, racing uh, old racing villains and nice racing backdrops some of the later ones got maybe a little bit far-fetched but the older ones are great, especially to get back into sort of nostalgic type things with no mobile phones and all that sort of stuff when they're sort of, nobody's going to rescue them because they're going to hear a satellite beeping on their Digital watch or whatever it is, it's right to me. Anyway, back to the race. It's Gold Coast in the lead. Smoke screen probably got absolutely nothing to do with that Dick Francis book either. But anyway, there you go. It's Gold Coast in front. Smoke screen is second. The best is yet to come third as they get over that one. Then George Anderson, Baby Jane is next, running on from the back. Sierra Vista, Sutty and Emma Oakway. They get into it as well as they take the fourth and third last in now. And all of a sudden, the Joshua Southern Bear have come sweeping around the outside. But Gold Coast responds. Gold Coast still in the lead from Judge Anderson. And the best is yet to come. Still there is Smoke Street on the inside. Beach Breeze is next. Then Sierra Vista Sussie. Baby Jane on the dark side are next. But it's Gold Coast who's still in front and two clear. Swinging for home in now with two to get over. And Gold Coast is three clear of Smoke Screen and Judge Anderson. Beach Breeze back in fourth. Sierra Vista Sussie now 
trying to run on again as they head down towards these final two. Gold Coast is looking to be going well. Skips over that nicely, gets away from it really well as well. George Anderson in second, Sienna Vista Sutty third, then Beach Breeze smoke screens now beaten as they come down towards the final flight and Gold Coast is over it and clear. George Anderson now trying to get into overdrive as a furlong running, but Gold Coast is clear. The jockey had a little look round, I don't think he's got any cause for concern. And heading up towards the line, this is another one for Leon Van Rensburg. Gold Coast takes it. George Anderson is going to be second. Beach Breeze third. Sierra Vista City just fourth ahead of him and Oakway. And an extreme and new as an ex adventure. And all the way back to El Centro rated. And Leon Van Rensburg enjoying a good start to the final week with another winner. Gold Coast. George Anderson second for. Joshua Southern, Beach Breeze for David Hooley was third, Sierra Vista Sutty Village Gerard fourth, and Emma Oatway for James Shea was fifth. <laughs>